Uh, it should be obvious uh, by uh, Wes's comments that uh, the college, the center, um, the Leadership and Ethics Institute uh, has the full support of, of our president and, in fact, uh, all of our administration, including uh, our chancellor, uh, sends his apologies. He has a prior commitment. He wouldn't be able to be here today, but he wanted me to pass it on to you uh, many of the sentiments that, uh, that Wes uh, just mentioned. Um, for you folks, I look around the room and I see a lot of friendly faces, uh, but I see a few I don't know. Um, after being in this business for 44 years, it seems like I can't go anywhere without running into somebody I know or someone knows someone that I had the privilege of working with in the past. I'm Ron Lowenberg, the Dean uh, of the Criminal Justice Training Center and the School of Nursing. And I see some of our School of Nursing uh, folks here, so welcome and thank you for, for joining us. Um, it's been a great experience for me. Um, I, I, I've got to believe that uh, the college president uh, thought it was a good idea to uh, make me dean of not only the Criminal Justice Training Center, but the School of Nursing. Uh, and when I asked him, uh, can you help me with the correlation between uh, criminal justice and the School of Nursing, um, this demonstrates the difference between a dean and a college president. He says, Ron, I've got to believe that the reason that young men and women are drawn to a career in law enforcement are some of the same reasons that young women and men are drawn to a career in nursing, to help people. And I says, you got me, boss. I can't, I can't top that. Um, so, and it's turned out to be a great experience. So, um, I, I, I had another correlation, but since we're on tape, I won't, uh, I won't mention that. <laughs> Uh, but some of you have heard it from me before, and uh, if you have an interest, I can uh, tell you about that uh, later. And uh, when I describe it to you, it'll come, uh, it'll come clear to you what, I was, what, you know, what I'm talking about. Um, a, a couple of other people I wanted to introduce, and then we'll get into our program. Uh, in this front row here um, is a, a group of my fellow deans and my bosses. Uh, for you folks that have known me for a long time and really want to get even with me if I had ever said anything uh, disparaging against you or uh, did anything. Uh, I, it certainly wasn't intentional, but if you really want to get me in trouble, uh, my immediate boss is the Vice President of Student Success, um, Dr. Faye Naples, McPhail Naples. So, uh, Dr. Naples. <clears throat> uh, she has uh, joined us recently in the last six months, uh, came to us from the University of Nevada, Reno. And, uh, but is a, a product of Southern California and I think is pleased to be back in, uh, in, in California, Southern California. And uh, to demonstrate how committed she is to our program, um, after giving her a quick tour of our facility and, and helping her understand what we do at the Criminal Justice Training Center, she happened to mention to Steve and I that uh, she had never fired uh, a, a handgun. So um, we took her to, to uh, Prado and uh, uh, don't piss her off, she can hit the target. <laughs> Um, could I uh, please ask the members of the steering committee for the Leadership and Ethics Institute here at Golden West College to please stand and be recognized. And for you folks that aren't on the steering committee, at least you'll know um, who's on the steering committee and if you have any questions about LEI, your involvement or our website or anything, you can uh, chat with the steering committee members. Uh, steering committee members, please stand. Thank you. Uh, by the way, our esteemed, one of our esteemed guests, uh, to demonstrate that LEI reaches out to all, uh, all disciplines and, and all career fields and so on, uh, we have the honor of uh, the presence of uh, General Al Gaddadi. Um, Al is a re retired Air Force General and is uh, very active in our community. I had the privilege of uh, working with Al when I was still a police chief here in Huntington Beach. He's a class act, and uh, so Al, thank you for being here today, uh, General Al Gaddadi. Al. And a number member of our uh, esteemed administration here at the college is uh, Janet Houlihan. Janet is our Vice President of uh, Student Life and Administrative Services. I, I hesitated with that title because we w recently went through a reorganization and I'm still kind of stumbling over that title. Uh, Janet, please. Okay. Um, I, I just wanted to announce uh, on, for, for the benefit of, of you in the audience who may be uh, interested in uh, employment after retirement, um, <clears throat> we recently uh, had an opportunity uh, through our reorganization efforts to identify a need to um, hire someone to uh, direct 
our public safety department here on campus. Um, and so that position opened a couple days ago. And uh, for you folks that either are preparing to retire or are already retired that have law enforcement experience, this is a great opportunity for you to uh, jump into another career that's related to your uh, background. <clears throat> and it pays well, and it's a STRS position. So you can uh, quickly, uh, in a relatively short period of time, um, become eligible for a second retirement, or a third retirement, or a fourth retirement, whatever works for you. So um, if you have uh, an interest in that, it's called the Public Safety Training Coordinator position. You work closely not only with Public Safety, with Janet, but with the Criminal Justice Training Center. And I have a flyer uh, in my hand uh, if you're at all interested. And if you want to go to the website, it's uh, cccd, that's three C's and a D, jobs.com. That's uh, all one word, cccdjobs.com and uh, bring that up and uh, if you have an interest you can uh, please apply and uh, go through the selection process. Uh, I will be uh, involved in the selection process but uh, don't let that stop you from getting involved in the process. So, okay, <clears throat> uh, last but not least my responsibility uh, is really why we're here today is to introduce the facilitator of our panel who will introduce our esteemed panel. Um, I uh, met this gentleman some 20 plus years ago. I had the privilege of working with him um, in the city of Huntington Beach. Uh, recently retired, uh, Captain Chuck Thomas. Uh, Chuck began his career uh, with the Westminster Police Department uh, some time ago. Matter of fact, I noticed in his bio that the year that he joined the Westminster Police Department was the first year that I was a police chief which makes you feel really old. <clears throat> he later lateral to the Huntington Beach Police Department um, in a relatively short period of time, um, whoever the chief was at the time, promoted this guy three times. Uh, <clears throat> Sergeant, Lieutenant, and Captain. He uh, recently retired as Captain. Uh, for a period of time, um, this folks at the city of Huntington Beach recognized this individual's leadership skills. Uh, he was uh, on loan to the city uh, staff as Director of Administrative Services to clean up that mess. He did an uh, admirable job of that, came back to the police department, and um, continued in his career as a uh, police captain. I believe if he had stuck around long enough, he probably would have been the next chief of Huntington Beach, but he decided to retire. And, I, and like Steve Ames, I knew he'd get in trouble if I didn't give him a job, so uh, he's presently working with us here on campus and coordinating our LEI project. So ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> recently retired Captain Chuck Thomas.